So this brief video is to show you how to add a folder path uh, in order to expand on your original drive. Many of the people that have bought drive or systems from me rather came with a one terabyte drive and many people want to expand it so they can add other stuff. So where you're going to need to go is D arcade rocket launcher rocket launcher UI double click rocket launcher UI which I already have open. <clears throat> And I've got the emulators tab selected here on the top and Sony PlayStation. Now, because this is mapped to my master drive, um, this is actually already added. See where it's green? That means that it knows the path exists. However, it does not mean that it knows if the games are named correctly. If you need to know if the games are named correctly, um, you go to games and click on this little blue thing that says auto all games. Now see how these are showing up green? That means that it found them with the correct name. Now I'm gonna, just for the sake of example, just add another path, which is still gonna be the same path. But just to show you how it's done, I clicked on the little plus there. Now this is my, my uh, master system drive. So D arcade, and it's pro your, your drive is not going to be D because D is already going to be your, uh, your arcade drive. So whatever drive it is, you're going to find uh, the path that actually contains the, the game data. So in this case, it's going to be Sony PlayStation and then ROMs. And then you click OK. And see how it added it with uh, the, uh, the green? It means that it knows where it is. So you don't actually have to delete the original um, if it's in fact there. Just add this and then click on uh, games again and then audit all games. And as long as it shows up green, that means that it will launch and perform uh, through Rocket Launcher UI. The emulator itself uh, may need setup additionally. So in that case, just so uh, we cover everything in this. You go to emulators and see where it says default emulator EPC SXE2. Scroll back up and go to global and look for EPC SXE2. Double click it and this shows you the path to the executable. So you would follow that path, launch that program, uh, launch the emulator and set up your controls for that particular emulator. Once that's done, everything just works as it should through hyperspin. That's part of the point of why I set these drives up uh, beforehand, even if you didn't have enough room for the particular game data that you wanted. That's all you have to do to add uh, more functionality and more systems.